this video, I'm gonna show you the new and updated edit page in Scalar 2 and its incredibly powerful features. Let's go ahead and pick a scale. I'm gonna choose G minor, and let's just take a progression and put it down here in our pattern sequencer. So I'm gonna take something like this. And to get to the edit page, we just gotta click the edit button. So now we have chord voicings where we can change the octave, the inversion, and the semitone of the chords themselves. So right now I've got, go ahead and bind this. Let's change up that G minor to a little, something a little bit different. Send it up an octave and choose a negative one inversion. Cool. So this is pretty basic stuff, but now we have playback timings options. So if I click right here, it will open up. So while this is playing, let's turn on loop, I can actually change the duration and the repeats of each one of these chords. So for example, maybe I want this to play half duration and repeat twice. And let's do the same for this chord, half duration, repeat twice. Now let's go ahead and play that. All right, and I do wanna point out if I come into settings, and come to playback, we can actually change the chord duration here. Right now I have it on four beats. However, you can change it to half a beat, up to eight beats in length. I'm gonna leave it on four beats for now. So this is quite powerful and simple to use as well, but now we have a third drop down too, which we can actually add performances and patterns and resolutions here as well on a per chord basis. So for example, if I come in here and turn on expressions, Let's leave it on accento, and I know that's not how it's pronounced, but I don't know Italian. Let's turn this one on expression and just go up to agiato, and let's turn expressions on here, and let's turn on something like an arpeggio for this one. And you don't have to choose expressions as I just did here. I can change it to strumming as well. Uh, inside of the expressions, which is a new feature inside of Scalar 2, which I covered in a different video, you know, I can come in here and I now have access to the performances, the phrases, and the rhythms. So this section right here is incredibly powerful for getting some unique results. And it's that simple. Now, obviously you can get a lot more complex and you're gonna wanna get in here and get something that sounds absolutely perfect for whatever project you're working on. But having this edit page here is one of my favorite new features in Scalar 2. And I think it's incredibly powerful in terms of getting a real live performance out of Scalar. This in combination with all of the other benefits Scalar 2 brings to the table is just a mind blowing experience for me.